Hi, I'm Linda Hall. I'm the sales manager here at Cairn Research. We're really excited to be launching a new product here at Physiology 2016 in Dublin. It's our OptiSplit 2 bypass. So we've been selling image splitters for many years. We have many happy customers around the world, um, but we're constantly evolving the product and this is our newest version. There are key, three key benefits to this new version. Firstly is the improved image quality. So you might notice it's slightly longer than our previous unit. That's because we've used a less aggressive lens relay system. The optic, optical performance and the chromatic aberration is unrivaled in terms of image quality. So the overlay is the best we've ever had. So the second key benefit of the bypass unit is that we've produced it with high-end imaging techniques in mind. So for super resolution microscopy in particular, reproducibility and stability are essential. So with that in mind, we have redesigned our cubes, our filter cubes. So they're exactly the same as previously, except they've got no mechanical um, attachment on the top. So there's magnets that relocate the cube for improved reducibility. So we've also increased the size of our auxiliary drop-in components to improve, improve the registration. Um, it also allows better access to the pupil plane to allow multi-Z imaging much easier than previously. So the third key improvement with this bypass unit is, well, the clue's in the name, it's a bypass unit. So many customers have um, split requirements, but there's also other users that come along and want a full field image, particularly on a large SCMOS camera, they want to utilise that whole region. And they don't really want to remove the unit and um, disturb the camera. So we've introduced an additional mirror which can slide into the light path, which blocks the short wavelength channel. So the addition of angled filter holders allows you to put your emission filters in this section um, and move your mirror into place for a bypass step. 